Congratulations, now you have an Edpuzzle account and you probably have your student's name list there. Now we are going to learn how to uh, use the videos in Edpuzzle or create your own assignment, assign them, grade them in Edpuzzle. Let's continue. Let's just jump in to create assignments. There are three ways. You can copy and edit videos from Edpuzzle. You can find and edit the content from other websites like YouTube or Khan Academy, or you can create your own videos. I will try the first two because this saves us time as busy teachers. And if I don't find or I cannot find something I really like, I will try to make my own videos, which is more time consuming. So add puzzle. Let's search a little bit. Um, I want to teach numbers to beginning class. So there are a few num videos and the there are videos on YouTube too, right? But this one seems have full questions made already, so I click in that. And then I'm gonna just watch it a little bit. All to count is five in China. All right. Um, I watched, I feel like, oh, this is a probably good one. So I will duplicate it. So if I go to content, now you can see copy and my name under it. So I have it right now and I can edit. So click edit. So there are three parts you can cut, you can do voiceover, or you can put more questions in it. So cut is if you watch the whole thing, if you think it's redundant, you can click cut and then use the tool to, to cut a certain parts of it. Voiceover is you can start click start recording and record your voice over it questions so there are three types of questions multiple choice questions open-ended questions and the note so let's click on the questions they already made let's take a look at here so you can assign the work to students you can click a due date this gives them one week and then click save assign to grade six and the prevent skipping assign after you assign add puzzle you can also choose to post on google classroom so if you go to classroom see add puzzle copy of menu number one to ten Maybe I click it twice, there are two assignments here already. So you can see it's already here. If you don't like it, the title or the points at the sign you just 100 points. You can just change. And then when students click on it, it will automatically direct them. All right, so let's talk about the three question types. So the notes, you can ask questions as a pause or remind the students just go over the content again. Multiple choices, it gives students instant feedback and automatically grades for students. And the last part is open-ended questions. A teacher grades and needs to give feedback in the end. Um, they don't have the function yet or smart enough to grade open-ended questions. So you need to remind students, hey, um, I know you get a 60, but it's not your final score. I haven't graded some of these questions. In these, I really like multiple choices because it gives students instant feedback and automatic grades saves us time. You can also add a note after the multiple choices question. Then tell students why A is correct, C is incorrect. Then it explains to the students too. All right, great job. You have finished the basic part. Please stop and think, can you sign in and adjust settings, set up classes with Google Classroom, and manage student sign, create assignments, understand the grading. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me. 谢谢,